Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is a hypnosis session It's a daily hypnosis session and uh, my name is Jason So, I'd like you, if you're willing to do this to get yourself comfortable It's really important that you can get comfortable and feel at ease. And you can lie down in a, on a flat surface if you choose, or you can sit in a comfortable chair. And the idea really is that you can just relax. Relax in a way that allows you to open your mind. To the idea, the idea that you, you can do whatever you set your mind to. You can achieve your dreams. You can become the person that you wish to be. And you can live the life that you long for. You can do whatever you choose. Because you're you. You're a human being. And you have potential. You have the resources to really make use of so that you can build the life that you choose. And you can close your eyes if you haven't already done so, if it's safe to do so, of course. And when you hear me say the words that you can do, whatever you choose. How does that feel? How does that physically feel? And how does that emotionally feel for you when you hear me say that you can do whatever you choose? You can do it. You can do it. And I know that part of you may actually believe this. And there may be a part of you that really doesn't. And you know what the difference is between the two of those thoughts? I mean, it's obvious one's positive, one's negative. The positive one will, of course, have a much bigger effect on your you achieving what you choose, the negative one will be, will get in the way. That's not what I mean. That's kind of obvious. Although sometimes the obvious things, are, they're the ideas that sometimes are the hardest ones to grasp. Simple. Simple works. Easy works. You don't need to make things more difficult. Some things really are simple. So what I was talking about, how are those two things different or, you know, thinking negatively or thinking positively, they're the same. They're just a thought just a thought. It's the reaction, the result on your well-being and your life and what you choose to achieve. That's what's affected by those thoughts. But they aren't just thoughts. A thought can't make you 
do anything unless you choose to do something. And that's something that maybe has been lost along the way. People sometimes think that I have to do this because that's what I thought and you know being at the whim of their thoughts. And thoughts are like clouds, they just go by. You can't catch a cloud. You can't bottle a cloud. You can't catch it with a net. I tried to when I was a child. Little, little butterfly nets, you can't catch a cloud. The same way you can't catch a thought. It's just thoughts. What's more important is what you do with those thoughts. You can use them to benefit you. If you choose, you can have more positive thoughts, have more self-belief. And when you realise and you really do believe that you can do it, you can do whatever you choose, then that automatically stimulates that part of your mind that produces positive uplifting, happy thoughts. Thoughts which you can use to stimulate and motivate yourself. So you can use thoughts in the opposite way to how a lot of people may use their thoughts. And this is something that you can take advantage of because you are the one that produces these thoughts and you are the one that can decide whether you choose to be affected by these positive, uplifting and life affirming thoughts and allowing them to lift you and to energize you towards achieving those goals that you set for yourself always with the idea in your mind that you really can do whatever you choose for yourself now, I don't think this is a really difficult concept. It seems quite a simple, very simple in fact, and that can sometimes get in the way of people actually using and making use of these ideas. So in this sense, with your eyes closed, listening to my voice, Although consciously you're listening to this, unconsciously it's going in deeper and it's changing at a brain level, at a neurological level, at an emotional level. Changes are now being made. You don't have to do anything. Because you will be constantly reminded of what you've heard today, here, now. Constantly reminded of your options, of possibilities. Constantly reminded that you really can do whatever you choose. And this brings us to the end of this session. I wish you well. And remember, you know what to do.